So yesterday on the stream, Basha, what the fuck? Get down from there. No, get, get down from there. Nice Twitter link. Oh, did I screw up my own fucking name again? Ah. Oh, it's a good start. Oh. So yesterday, playing the Bioshock 2, and it crashed on me, erased, erased meant to my progress. And then I decided to try the Hollow Cure, and then the Hollow Cure doesn't work in the stream for some reason. And then I go try and load up the Final Fantasy 14, and if you put in Final Fantasy 14 in full screen mode and try and record it in OBS, the game crashes and OBS crashes. And then as OBS is crashing, the PC crashed, so I decided to I decided to cut my losses there. Fuck. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to stream on Saturday, but if I do, if I do, uh, I'm gonna. I'm going to be like, who wants to help drag me through Eureka? So I can get a shiny sword. Diana says no, but she'll be there. I know it. She got an FF14 name. She got to do it. It's, it's the law. It's the rule. Can Cross Realm do Eureka? I don't know. I actually don't know. It can? That's actually great. See, Blackleaf says no, but Chichen says yes. And Chichen has the fancy feast armor. Zangy, no! Zangief grabbed a hat and was running around with the hat, and I did not want him to have the hat. Now we're all up to date. So today, as a solve to my soul, in order to make myself feel better about the disastrous stream that was yesterday. I'm going to play a scary game. Which won't make me feel better at all, actually. But it'll make some of you feel better. Because I'll make little baby noises because I am a huge pussy. Looking forward to that. I'm so scared of horror games. Oh. It never got any better. It never got any better. I played so many goddamn horror games for Halloween. And then my startle response never got any better. I would know there's a monster behind that door, and then I would open the door, and the monster would go boo, and I would go, ah! There's nothing to be done. 
And yet you love Resident Evil. Curious. I'm very intelligent. Resident Evil does something that most horror games don't do. They give you a really big gun. And say, you can shoot the motherfucker with this gun. So does Dead Space? Yeah, and that's why Dead Space isn't a, a, a horror game. It's a survival horror game. And Resident Evil 4 and Dead Space 2 are action horror. You have, you have horror, then you have survival horror, then you have action horror, and then my personal least favorite genre... Panic horror. Panic horror would be what I consider Amnesia, Outlast, um, you know, uh, your only option is to flee horror. Right? What? I can't hear you at all. No. Panic Horror is your favorite? That sucks. Boo. Where are you? Paige is so far away. I can barely hear her. Chichen says, can now 100% confirm you can go to Eureka on other data centers. I'm at Anemo, so I'm crystal right now. Cool. So I'll tell you what. Hey, Paige, is it cool with you if I stream on Saturday? She says, sure. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to announce a fucking Eureka stream on Saturday for Ultros Primal. And then you kids can come fucking carry me through the... I don't know how it works. Just just point me at the Pazuzu and I want the weapon. Give me the weapon. Give me give me the weapon. Give, give me Xiphias. I want Xiphias. Gotta farm lost actions? What the fuck is a lost action? What is that? Lo logo gr Lost actions are like the Bojan skills. Do I need them? Or can someone just do it for me? This is the important part. The important part is the part where someone just does it for me. That's my favorite part. It's my favorite part. They are needed. Boo. Boo. Only the last two zones have them. Oh, you're never going to see it then. Okay, cool. Why is that dog so suspicious? Dog's so suspicious. Isn't Pat going to have to do the story junk as well? I did some of the story junk at the very beginning of an Amos, but aside from that, I don't remember nothing. I remember meeting a tiny Lollafell, and he was all like, I gotta fucking get all the elements or whatever, and then I got a crystal, and then my crystal's level three or something. And that's it. That's all I got. Hey, Poopus. Oh, my stinky dog is here. Oh, he's just he's stinky. Oh, my God. Love him. Hey. Get out of there. Get out of there. No, don't sit there. Oh, your baby. Oh, no. He's baby. I can't stop him. He's too heavy. He's too big. Love him. 
Oh, is Elmo there? Oh, hey, Elmo. Elmo is so fluffy. Blackleaf, god damn it. God damn it. Don't, don't get the Pazuzi in here. I hate it. Pat will quit in Pagos? Listen to me, Kane. I didn't farm fucking four anima relics. No, wait, four? Three anima relics. And fucking... F four fucking... Sorry, three fucking Urea Baja relics for you to tell me that I'm gonna quit in Pagos. Man. Those are the easy relics? Animal wasn't the easy relic when it was new! Not when it was fucking brand new, it wasn't. That shit took forever. All right, whatever. Let's thank some people. Shall we? Ooh. Got an itch on my foot. Anyway, I chose Rapture. Oh, some of these are, uh, some of these are from yesterday. Apologies. I chose Rapture Sub. Says, oh, Bioshock, this is a new series to me. I'm sure it is, buddy. I'm sure it is. And then Kuroi, Buzzard, and Hungai TV both all subscribe. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Eichmann Sub. Four to three months of pondering the orb. Also, Pat, I've been catching up on VODs and popped hard at the Chikara name drop. Shame that the promotion died, but I'm glad most are in AEW, especially Eddie Kingston. Man, I don't know anything about Chikara wrestling other than it was, like, complete trash. Uh, and that they would advertise on uh, Botchamania. That's it. Hey, Corey Plays Games kicked us up. Thanks, Cora. Back in the old days, you guys would allude to having games saved for later LPs in case of emergency. Were there any that you didn't get to do that you thought would have been great to do? Thanks for all the great times. We never got to Metal Gear Solid 3. That was the one... That was the only one that, uh, that was just hanging out there in the future that we didn't get to do. I would have loved to do it, but, um... But such is life. Thanks, here I am. Hey, Tysuru subs. It's burial at CD's nuts. Thanks, man. It's insightful. Incredible. Templar kicked in subs. It's Dr. Bees. That was me. When I was playing Basha. I gotta be I gotta be honest. Um I don't know if I'm gonna go back to Minerva's Den. That was such a horrible experience. Uh Iceman asks. Also, Pat, why isn't the finale? of Bioshock 2 on YouTube. That's a great question. It's on YouTube right now. Yeah, because, like, let's say I go back to, uh... Let's say I go back to fucking Bio 2, right? Then I got, I'm gonna be playing it and saving the fucking game every ten minutes. Right? Making me miserable. Ugh. Nah. Skeleton Milk subbed in the... <laughs> 
in that vein. Ooh, hell yeah, thanks for playing one of my favorite DLCs in any game. I remember you mentioning wanting to make a compilation or something for Elden Ring. Did that go anywhere? Yep. It's sitting on my hard drive. Uh, I keep forgetting to upload it because it's a huge file. Oops. Infinite ungodly sub. Hope everybody's doing great. And then gifted five subs. Thanks, man. That's really kind. Oh, fat boy's lying next to me being fat. He's just a baby. I'm gonna kick him in the stomach. Hey, 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 dog. Please make more compilations. I don't make compilations. Civ Sarcast makes compilations. But I'll, I'll consider it. Thank you. Matho Chisholm subbed. I don't know what to say, Pat. What should I say? I'm wasting my monthly message. Help. You know, I just read most of the shit that you guys say over here. I just don't respond to most of it. Also, you wasted it. I'm sorry. Bear Phonics sub. Thanks, Bear Phonics. Goose Attack Almanac sub to say Holocure. Save the settings. Thank you. Shirtle points out John Riccatello angry that Unity Mobley devs won't use the built in ad revenue software. Yeah, that shit's gonna get, um,. Unity, like, blacklisted off Windows. Huh! One, I don't know if something. Uh-huh. Interesting. It's got an interesting ad opportunity. That's fascinating. Faust Gesicht sub to say they came to see Pat's aggressive disappointment. And they did. I'm ho I hope you're happy. Mortisize kicked in five bucks. Hey, Pat, did you see the Rumblefish collection of one and two got announced for this winter? I'm trying to lighten the mood after those crashes. Why, thank you. The Rumblefish? Oh, is your The Rumblefish. It should be right there. The Rumblefish? Pat, did you hear the Konami's re-releasing the Metal Gear soon? No, that's not what they said. They said they are working on returning the prior um, games to their platforms. Which is different. That being said, boy, boy would I kill for the Metal Gear Solid HD collection to come to PlayStation 4 or 5. Kill for it. Like, really. And 4. Yeah, sure. Wh whatever. Quabla subbed. Watch mostly the VOD. Sub because of the bad math. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Fenris Sulfur. Kicked in a sub. I've been watching your content since those YouTube videos were recorded with a camera pointed at a television. And you're still making stuff that I enjoy. I appreciate you, Pat. Why, thank you, Fenrir. Oh, dog is leaving? Dog? Oh. Dog is running. Dog is running away. Jarvis Von Jarvis sub. Thanks, man. Dova Dude sub. Hey, Pat and family, quick question. If you and Paige ever feel like doing a P.O. box one day, what stuff would you prefer receiving? Cash, mostly. Oh, what old? That's right. No. No. Sprinkle a little blood on it so it looks like you robbed a bank. Stop it. If we, if we did... Uh, I like... I don't know. Handwritten letters are nice. Yeah. I like that, you know? That'd be cool. I can just see us driving up to the P.O. box and there's like a, a angry mailman standing next to like five skeletons being like angry. And then we're just like, we just drive right past the mailman and just don't go in ever again.
Uh, dude, I don't know. I'll let, I mean, I'll let you know what, if we ever do a P.O. Box. They mean like candy. Interesting candy. But how do we know somebody didn't piss all over the candy? You wrapped. You would. We would like it wrapped. You know, like wrapped up, like from a factory candy. Yeah. But like interesting candy from where you live would be cool. Yeah. I would. I would love that. I think. I think if you're if you're eating things out of the mail, anything that's not sealed is just a bad idea. The candy's filled with bees. What if they sent bees in the mail? Wouldn't that be nice? Well, what kind of... Are they living bees or dead bees? Angry think, bees. Well, are they the are they kind bees? Like the kind of bees that don't have stingers? Yeah, Paige was looking up kind bees. Because I, I love the idea of having bees that don't sting. I think they're called kind bees or something. Yeah. Here I am, kicked in a sub. Why do they keep making Resident Evil film media? Because it's profitable! Because the kids like Resident Evil! That's why. Well, this is a weird one. Vehement V sub. Thanks, V. Pet, help the Monopoly man found my fucking house and he's gonna shove his Monopoly money up my ass and stuff his mo monocle down my throat while he's twirling his white mustache and cackling like Skeletor. Also, one year of being sub. That's nice. Oh no, not the Monopoly man. Not the Monopoly man. A lot man. of people don't know this. The Monopoly man is a real person. Really? Yeah. Who is it? The Monopoly man. That's his name. Monopoly M. Man. He looks like that too. That's not a real person. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Although, could you change your name? To Monopoly Man? No. Why not? Well, you might be able to do it in the States, but in Canada, they, they usually get be like, get out of here. Why? With stupid, stupid shit names. So I can't name myself Optimus Prime? Why not? You can't, but you can name yourself... You can have the last name Knight and call your kid Omega. What? You May, can't, if wait, you, you can or you can't do that? You probably can't, actually. Wait, why can't you? Because then the kid would get teased. Fucking and? I mean, I mean, I, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't name my child Omega Knight, but like... What if you named your... What if you... What if you named your, your child Pussy Annihilator? Um... Yeah, I... I, um, I won't... I wouldn't do that, for one. For two... What if you named your child the Cervix Avenger? All right. Um, that is not good. Uh, if you were to name yourself that when you're an adult, I guess. I don't think a judge would go for it. Wait, why not? If you're, if you're, here's the thing. Because if you're an adult, who gives a shit, right? I wouldn't, I wouldn't, if I were a judge, I would not want my, any child to have the Cervix Annihilator as their name. That's weird. Oh, so the birth was really hard? No, it was actually quite easy. Bye-bye. Elite Shadow Man, Tyler1, and Solarion all subbed. Thanks, guys. And Solarion says that the scariest monster of all is math. Thank you. Paige is pointing. She is smiling. So I saw some people being like, Pat's full of it. He's just doing this for the views. And I am here to tell you, as the resident thrower under the bus person, and as the first person who will sandbag and reveal any bullshit and shenanigans, I assure you that after that, Pat came to me and he stared off into space and he wouldn't eat his dinner and he was really really bummed out he was pretty sad not in like I, a I, really really sad I did, I did it for the views guys it was all a ruse it was all a ruse I That's did it up like, like I part of me is like would it be better if the way that we are 
and the stupid things we do. Wouldn't I accidentally be stapled my hand to my balls as a goof, as a joke. Would it? Would it be better or worse? I okay. don't know, but I can confirm to you that it is true. Also, that I relish and enjoy the fact that I, resident brain damage haver, resident Swiss cheese in the skull, as the person who couldn't pass college math and my best friend had to pass it for me, my math skills are better than yours. All this and more at 11. Hey, it's only 4.30. No, but ser seriously. That, it's really two times zero is one. How? How? I got confused. If you have two, Patrick, if you have two of something. I got confused by anything to the power of zero is one. But yeah, but that's the power. Yeah, well, like I... Multiplication. And but, not just multiplication. This is like first grade multiplication. Like this is like six year olds. Like you, you, sh you should play. Hey, hey, one of these days we should play. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Which I think there is a, a game of that. There is. I want to see if you are smarter than a fifth grader. I want to see it. What do you guys think? Does that appeal to you as well? I don't want to play that game. Also, sorry, I, I'm like shouting. I'm like way over here and the AC's on and I don't know. I don't want to play that game. game. Why not? Because then somebody's gonna, gonna put in a donation yeah. asking me why I didn't play Are You Bigger Than a Fifth Grader? And the is it are you afraid that the answer is no? The answer is no. I'm t I'm taller than a fifth grader. Depends on the fifth grader. I've met fifth graders that are like really tall, taller than me. Hey, Zangie. I'm relatively short though. Why does he look like that? Who? The dog. What do you mean? What? He looks like himself. He looks stupid. Yeah. Oh. It's true. I bet Zangie knows what two times zero is. Goose egg. Zangie. <laughs> I love that stupid. Oh, hello! Hello! <laughs> hey, Pat. What's five times nine? 30, uh, 45. There you go. There you go. Good boy. Do you want a cookie? Yes. <laughs> Fuck off, Cat Pernicus! What do you say? When is Paige going to pick Pat up and carry him around so he can see parts of the house he's never seen before? <laughs> ah, that is a TikTok trend, actually. Hey. Okay. What is three times eight? Go. 24. Good boy. Good boy. What do we say? Thank you. Yes. No. No. That's right. <laughs> Patrick, what's 16 times zero? One. <sighs> Patrick, I was gonna, are you serious? I was gonna give you this and now I can't. <laughs> Go to hell. No cookie for you. <laughs> oh my God. You're not kidding. Oh my God. Pat would never, never throw an answer when a cookie's on the line. That's sad. I love my favorite part. Oh, no. My favorite part oh, no. is that you're like, oh, no. Ugh. Like, I'm stupid. Like, the questions I'm asking are dumb. All right. Patrick. Patrick. Zane, get down. Get down. Come on. All right, Patrick. Okay. 
Hold on, I'm trying to think of a question to ask you. Ready? Sit. Can you get him? He's well, gonna. It's because of the cookie. Just well, move over a little bit. Can you discipline the dog? Zangief, you're stupid. No, not like that. Zangief, you're adopted. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, okay, Patrick. Okay. What is the capital of Illinois? Chicago, right? No. It's not? No! It's Springfield. Really? Yes! That's stupid. No, no, no. Oh, my God. Sing it, get down. Oh, it's because you're getting crumbs on top of the computer! Sing it! That's the issue! You can't do that! It's dangerous! I'm, I'm standing here. Okay, Patrick. Hey, you have to stop getting crumbs on top of the computer. Why are you gonna lick them off? No, but he is. That's true. That's fair. Okay, there. It's not Chicago. No, it's Springfield. It should be. Why? Because Chicago is the biggest and most important city in Illinois. Well, Ottawa is the capital of fucking Ontario. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. It isn't? It's the capital of the country. What's the capital of uh, Ontario? Toronto. It is? Isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay, thank oh. you. Okay. Owned. From here? I don't fucking know. I'm American. We're historically bad at geography. I don't have to know about anything. Cause I got my gun. Boo, boo. Well, you're not in America now, honey. That's right. That's right. All right, Patrick. For this cookie. I'm gonna ask you a question. Are you, you can ready? See him going nuts in the, over here. All right. Uh, you ready? What is my favorite number? Oh, twelve. Good boy. And multiples uh, in thereof. Good. Nice. Okay, Patrick. Why twelve? I don't know. It's your favorite number. Oh, uh, I do everything in multiples of 12 because 12 is the most perfect number ever. It's perfect. It's perfect in every way. I, I love the number 12. Patrick. What is, and you have to answer quickly, three times four. 12. All right, that's your favorite number again. Yeah, exactly. Okay, Patrick. <laughs> what is... Nine times eight. Uh, 56, I think. No. No, it's not. It's uh, nine times eight. 72. Oh, 72, yeah. No. You know how I know that, No, my, that's seven times six. On the, no, seven dad, times nine. My no. dad. My dad. Oh, God damn it, Zangief. Get down. My dad, every day, for like 10 years, even when I'm like an, like almost an adult, yeah. he would ask me my multiplication tables. Always. On the way to school. You doing okay? I don't like this game. Okay, Patrick? Yeah. For this tiny piece of cookie. Yeah. What is seven times three? 21. Oh. Um, there you go. You're doing a great job. What do you think, guys? Are you riveted? This is really fun. We should play this off stream. I don't too. think this is as much fun as you think it is. What do you mean? You don't get a cookie, Speculari. All right, what's the next one? Oh, I'll let you go on. No, oh, Carl. Give me the cookie, though. No. Uh, you didn't get the number right. You didn't get the cookie. No. Oh, I you want it. You didn't get the number right. Next, which numbers are gay? All numbers. The numbers are gay. It's crazy how that works. It's cool, though. Yeah. Wish I had more cookie. Well? Wait, is that three times three or three to the power of three? Where? I think that's three to the power of three, right? Uh, yeah. 
So that'd be tw uh, 27. Okay. Anyway, I'm back to... Sorry for bothering you. I just thought that would be very funny and pleasurable for me to do. Were you right? Yeah. Ah, good for you. It was. Thanks for indulging me. Fian, that's great. It says, math is inherently queer. That's how the gay agenda has been advancing exponentially. <laughs> I like that. Oh, I love it. That's good. Yeah, also, about the st about the capital of Illinois, y'all have too many states. Yeah, no, that, okay, to be fair, that was a trick question. I knew you would say Chicago, because I used to think it was Chicago. You have way too many states. Well, the, You should eliminate 47 of them. Okay. The, the, the thing is, like, when you first start learning about the capitals, you think, oh, well, the capital is obviously... The city the, I the, know the, of there. Well, the largest city, right? Yeah. But that is not always the case. What's the capital of Texas? It's Dallas, right? What's New York capital? It's it's oh, it's not New York. It's Albany. What's in Albany? Thanks, honey. What's the capital of California? Who gives a shit? Fuck California. It's a nice place to live, so all the worst people in the world move there. <laughs> oh, fuck. Fucking hate California. <sighs> when am I moving then? Never. Uh, uh, that's good. That's good. Hey, Papa Jimbo subbed. You're right, Pat. All games should let you curb stomp the ghost. I like it. Max lives there, though. Lelouch, you're right. I didn't say that everyone that lives in California is the worst person. Yeah, Max is a good guy. Yeah, I said all the worst people moved to California. It's like one of them square rectangle statements. I still remember every every single person I ever met that worked at Machinima was outwardly nice to me as they piloted their human shell before retreating back to their lizard dome. Oh. Hi! Oh, it's great to see. Oh, hey. oh, oh, hey, hey, let's get come on. Hey, let's get la. Just sh like, just fucking homunculi walking around pretending to be people. Be careful, top. Thank you. you more water as well. Ah, uh, thank you. Yes. That's rooster teeth to a T? I didn't feel that way. When I went in there, people seemed like kind of normal. Thank you. Yeah, rooster teeth in Texas, yeah. Hey, Stratiotai kicked in a sub. Thanks, Stratiotai. It's been a little while since I subbed, but I gotta say, man, your weight loss is noticeable and inspiring for somebody like myself who also likes to use food for comfort and can definitely stand to be healthier. Keep up the good work. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. I'm now, I have now learned that maybe it wasn't the best idea for my mom to offer me a cookie when I was sad. That may not have been the best way to deal with my feelings. <laughs> I 
Uh, Captain Pile Driver sub. Thanks, Captain Pile Driver. Time sure flies. So with the supposed news, we're getting a new alien action horror game. Here's hoping they may get a Resident Evil style game. That'd be nice. Anything decent would be good, though. Kara Knight sub. Hey, Pat. Thanks for being a cool semi orb. Thanks, man. Thank you. Diana the Assian kicked in five bucks. That's Diana the Assian that's going to help me with Eureka on Saturday. Kicked in five bucks. So the Mobile Suit Gundam, which from Mercury Prologue is pretty good, even though the only way to watch it right now is a 360p video on YouTube with no subs. Ah, uh, that's good old Gundam. Bringing those memories back. Sorry about that. Oh, could you hear that? That was my hiccup. Zangy. He's trying to get under the computer to get the crumbs. Zangy, come here. Come here. Come on. Come here, buddy. One second. Thank you. Come here. Come here. Come on. Hey, come here. Oh, oh, oh. I had nothing. Ha ha. Ha ha. Oh, hey, whoa. Boy. Oh, that's a big dog. Oh, boy. Oh, okay. Hey, buddy, 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 buddy. But. <laughs> oh, he's. Oh, my God, he's so big. No, don't eat me, please. As you everybody love you. Yes. Mwah. Isn't he a good boy? Isn't he a good boy? Mwah. Uh oh. 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 Yeah. <laughs> oh. How much does he weigh? He weighs 80 pounds. I mean, he, feel, he feels it. He feels like he weighs 80 pounds. Oh. Do we clip his nails? No, we take him somewhere because he's got very dark brown nails. Uh, and I don't trust myself to uh, not cut a, cut them too close, so we bring him to like a dog lady, and she does she does it with a Dremel. Ugh. If, he, if he had if he had white or light nails, uh, yeah, I would do it myself. But since they're dark, I don't trust it. That's big even for a bulldog. Of course, the tiny man gets a huge dog on accident. He was the runt of his litter. So uh, his, his brothers and sisters are probably like coasting up to like 90, 100. Geefy, stop licking the computer. That's weird. Retro, yeah, you know, you know what's funny about Zangief, come to think of it? So he meets a lot of people on the street, right? And there's three basic reactions. Hey, dog. Oh, is your doggy nice? Can I pet him? Ah. Right. Um, and then people who get down on one knee... And they're like, come here, and then they go, blah, 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 on his face, right? So basically people that are indifferent to dogs, people that like dogs but don't know what kind of dog he is, and people who have known an English bulldog. The first two, he actually kind of ignores. Like, if somebody goes, hello, doggy, he'll, like, sniff their hand, but, like, has no interest in them at all. Like, he just kind of walks away or something. 
Um, but the people who like get down on one knee and like put their hands out and like want to like hug him, he gets all up in their shit and like like plants on them. You know, you know what I mean? It's nice. Retro Hazard sub. Good morning from Tokyo. Let's get big spooky. Hey, good morning to you in Tokyo. Hope you're having a good day. Dr. Dinkus sub. In your humble opinion, what would the coolest crime you would be comfortable committing, knowing you would get away with it? Knowing I would get away with it. Hmm. The coolest crime. It, mm, it would be like a big theft. It would have to be a big theft of a ridiculous thing. Right? It would have to be like... Like stealing the Declaration of Independence or something. You know, like that Nicolas Cage movie. Zangy, get down. There's crumbs over on that table because Paige ate the cookie. And he wants the crumbs. He wants the crumbs badly. Dova dude kicked in five bucks. Thanks, Dova. In particular, there's a candy store called Lofty Pursuits that do odd seasonal candies like shamrocks made out of hops. Or even a candy that tastes like maple that's made straight from mushrooms. Any suit your fancy, I'll spot you some as a treat. Oh, that's a cool idea. Thanks, man. I'll keep it in mind. Couch Potato Ed Boy sub. Thanks, Potato Ed Boy. Anonymous gifted a sub. Thanks, Anonymous. Quabla gifted five subs. Thanks, man. That's really generous of you. I appreciate it. Higuri Yoru sub to say, hey. Hey, man. Dapper Cactar sub to say, look, a distraction. Randy Fisberger sub to say math cookie funds and Razzy Wraith sub. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Why would Geeb not be able to get onto the couch? No problem. Thank you. What are you gonna do about it, huh? What are you gonna do? 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 Huh? What are you gonna do? Oh, are you gonna get me? Oh, are you gonna get me? Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love that dog. I love you. What a what a dumb idiot. How do dogs know the difference between playing and fighting? Because they're animals just like we are. How do you know the difference between playing and fighting? Buddy. Look at that. Look at that guy. <sighs> He's cute, huh? Yeah, look at him. Look at this boy. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Oh look, you wanna see how vicious he is? What are you gonna do? Oh, are you gonna bite me? You invite me?
Queequeg is correctly, correctly pointing out that bulldogs can move quickly, very quickly and fast, but only for a little bit and only in one direction. His tooth is cute. Oh, yeah, his, his face gets stuck on his on his teeth. Ah, all right. All right, kids. Let's play Madison. I don't know anything about this game other than it is spooky and it may be a little bit like Fatal Frame. Which is cool. Controller support for Wrath of the Righteous! Well, that's cool. Well, I'm going to wait for September then. Wait, didn't Kingmaker have controller support? Was it good? I don't know. Am I finally going to play the whole thing on stream? I don't know. I feel like people would run far away from Wrath of the Righteous if I did a full LP. Diana says she'd still be here. Diana, you're always going to still be here. You're always here. You're like one of the most consistent people here. Also, wait a second. Why is Diana the Astian not a mod? So here's the thing. I'm making it mandatory that every mod has to be there on Saturday stream to help moderate the Eureka chat. Uh, so I'll see you on Saturday, Diana. Hey, Diana, you're cool. If people aren't being cooled, uncool them. Can you guys see the game, by the way? You can? Can you hear it? Good. By the way, on normal, it says visual hints, photography zones, normal enemies, infinite photos, and autosave. Hard, no visual, no photography, harder enemies, infinite instant photos, and autosave. Hey, Paige! Maybe Paige's gone. This tea she made is incredible. It's really quite good. Bloody Oath games, I see. Oh! I see. Can't see you what, bro? Your family. Your own blood. What the hell were you thinking? Don't worry about it. What the hell crossed your mind? What the fuck is happening to you? You ruined our family. What am I gonna do now? I don't know, bro. What am I gonna do? Wait, what are my controls? 
Interact, run, instant camera, zoom, inventory, read, back. I don't have a single item, huh? All right. Luca V oh five six seven. No, no, this this can't be happening. God. Oh. Okay. All right then. Rotate? Rotate what? From your cousin Romeo. Six two six Macklemore, Argentina. John Maxwell family. I have to find your handle. Okay. Oh, thank you. Huh. I have to find the handle. What does it want me to... to rotate? Oh! But why? Dad? Oh, I, oh, uh oh, I think I know. What if it's over here? It's something. I got a handle. I did it. Oh, I thought that was a bunch of video card fans. It really does kind of look like it, doesn't it? And I gotta get out of here. Oh, by the way, Paige, this tea you made is incredible. It's like the best tea in a while. Oh, what's that? Oh, yeah? You put four in? Ooh. You are not my son. You are not my son. Don't worry about it. Come on. Maybe I can get out through Grandpa's house. I gotta get out of here. I'm sure it'll be fine. Hmm. Oh, this really feels like the Baker's house. Wow, look at this shit! I need to find a way out before Dad notices I'm here. But that wasn't. Well, we're just gonna go ahead and close this. 
Oh, goody. Oh, good. Oh, goody. Grandpa was just like Dad. 1968. My, my birthday present? How did it get here? Luca. Instant camera. Okay. Oh, it's got a little grandpa on it. Okay. What if I do this? Yeah, Polaroids were cool as hell, man. Well. Worth a shot. I tried. We well, now know it's not an immersive sim. Fuck, that was so loud? God damn. Okay. Well then. Okay. Oh, I can't pull it off now. Isn't there a door here? Guess not. What? Oh, I see. Huh. I wonder. Let's see if this does it. Nope. I need something else. Oh, I didn't, I didn't realize the noose. Friendly. Good old friendly noose. Huh. Can I get... Mm.
It's not helpful. I need an item for this. I need an item for that. Ah, oh, for a second there I thought something would happen. If I close the door. I feel like it wants me to take a photo of something, but I'm not quite sure what. Picture of the grandpa had a four-year digit? Oh, I guess it did. 1968. Let's give it a shot. It looks like I do, in fact, have infinite film, yeah. Let's see if 1968 helps. Is there anything else to notice about this? Minus one? I'm sorry, what? Twelve sixty seven, nineteen sixty seven. Oh, we're going to have to find this puzzle elsewhere. Try each digit, my one, yeah, maybe. Nope. What is the point of this? Oh, I'm supposed to grab it.
Hell, that didn't teach me the code. Oh, now I get it. An oval portrait. So it has to go... Oh. I was able to do it that time. That's strange. And I don't know what the fuck that is. All right, let's backtrack. Huh. I won't be able to go back. This box seems to be following me. Could it literally be zero five six seven? The answer is no. It says 1258 on the right side, but that's not doing it. Yeah, the, there's the negative one and then there's this, which is not helpful. Bottom of the box? Luca 567. Guys, I feel stupid. I'm super stuck and it's like the first puzzle. And they gave me this here, um, they gave me this here Canberra, but it don't do nothing.
No. 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 What? Now it works? Why didn't it work before? I should find a nail or something to hang it with. Got it. All right. Okay. It's like a photo of the boy. Ah, I see. Oh, it's locked. Good. Well, the lights are a little clearer now. It's also locked. You think I just got the same glitch that you did? Really? What glitch is that? You're supposed to get a key after taking that picture? Are you serious? Are you are you being for real with me right now? Spooky! Am I crazy or is everything fucking falling apart on me this week? Oh, oh my god. Oh, my head. I feel fucking super gaslit. That's not gaslighting? What, are you trying to tell me gaslighting isn't real? I'm just crazy? Say, pulling out nails to the hammer rules. Feels great. Come on. Maybe I can get out through Grandpa's house. No! 
I gotta get out of here. Okay, right. That's there. Then I walk over here. I need to find a way out. Then there's no way out. Kablam, so there's that fucking thing. I walk up to the fucking thing. Ah, oh, it's spooky. Ah, oh, the door opened. Okay. Go, walk over to this. Get this thing. Open it up. Get the camera. Camera, get. Shoot the camera. Whatever. Photograph the light. Got it. The light is photographed. Got it. Excellent. Take that. Watch the thing. It's fine. Let's get out of here. Okay. Out through here. What's over here? It's nothing. Okay. Great. Oh, it's spooky noises. What could the spooky noise be? Oh, it's this. Oh, no. It's actually nothing. Oh, no. Oh, it's so spooky. How could it happen? Oh, it's a murderer. Okay. Oh, I need to find a nail or something. Oh, now this is here now. Oh, that's got a nail now. It's my nail. Okay, good. Excellent. I didn't even see the monster. Holy shit. So spooky. Very scary. Okay, Grandpa took a photo. You gotta be kidding me with this. I'm supposed to get a key from taking a photo of that. You just walk to the door afterwards and the key is in my inventory? You know what? Okay, hold on. Before I before I just completely quit out. Okay, so here's the here's what we're gonna do. Here's here's what we're gonna fucking do. Okay, I'm gonna quit this for a second. Uh, I'm gonna go be right back for a second, and go check to see a YouTube video on what what this glitch looks like.
Uh, I don't think. I don't think. I don't. I don't. I don't. Now the controller support doesn't work. Are you serious? Are you are you serious? Are what? How, why? Everything is broken. Are you okay, honey? Do you need me to change your diaper? Yeah? Yeah, do you need me to change you, honey? Yeah? Did you shit? Smells like you shit. Did you shit? Yeah? <laughs> Thanks, honey. Uh, <laughs> yeah, controller support don't work anymore. Uh, oh, Whatever. Bummer. We're, just, we're just gonna go with the mouse and keyboard now. Okay. Hey, um, he's... Does he need to go out or anything? Because you haven't stood up in a bit. Do you want to go for a short walk? Uh, I'm gonna make sure that the thing that I thought was broken isn't broken, and then yes. Okay. You don't have... I, I can take him. I just think it's healthy for you to also stand up every little bit. Oh. Thank you. Yep. Also, somebody in the chat just said, I'm fucking 10 ply. You know it. That's what your underwear is. Nine. What? Oh! Get out. Nasty. Who's a stinky? He, why is he following you like that? I don't know. He's following you like you have a treat. Oh, man. I, I, my week is cursed, bro. All right, so let's uh let's go get the key. Just right there. I wouldn't have thought that it was in that drawer. You know? You know? Why? Because I didn't think that drawer was openable. Hey, it's Grandpa's secret murder room. What the hell has Dad been doing here? That matches. Yep. There was keys in those matches. All right. Oh, hello. What do we got? My notebook? My notebook? So dad's the one who took it away from me. Sister's leg. Drawing any of these. Mom's arm. Now dad's head. Going insane. Okay. Number one. Okay, why why do I even try? You know, it was scary because it was loud. Grandpa's house. I haven't been here since he died.
Well, I've confirmed that it does in fact work, so I'm gonna take a quick break to take the dog out pee and scream. I'll, I'll be right back. Hey gang, I'm back from screaming. How are all of you? My diaper is changed. Promise.
Fuck. This storm must have taken up the power. I think Grandpa had a generator in the basement. Oh, fuck off. Hold on, I'll follow the red evil light. Grandma and Grandpa's room. Ah, it's just a bathroom. Ah, uh, that smells awful. The pipes must be clogged. Blue knees is real. Ah, oh, my notebook again. Combination right six five left. All right. Oh, cool. I can break these cuffs. You can't break these cuffs. Hello? Grandpa dedicated his whole life to clock making. Huh. All right. Was that 907? I got to find a way to open this door if I want to get out of this house. Well, that's a generator. Shit. That work? Yeah, I'm a genius. The fuck? Yeah, Jupiter and Mars. Hello. Well, that's ominous. <sighs> Who the fuck just messaged me? God damn it. Queequed's sending me fucking messages about how I can't do math. I do have an inventory limit. I have 5 out of 10 inventories. Well, that's not helpful at all.
That is also not helpful. This kitchen needs a fucking update, let me tell you what. Hello, clock thing! this one. Nope. Alright. Cassette tape. From the moment of first contact, it is already too late. When a what? demon attaches itself to a human, Demons? it becomes a parasite of sorts. It feeds from the host until... It devours every last part of their soul. In most instances, the demon's relentless objective is to get back to the world of the living. If you what want to break that about? link, well, I'm afraid it's no simple matter. I could speak at length about various rituals and procedures, but by far the best way is to obey. Help the demon attain that which it seeks. Only then will the demon leave of its own accord. Usually they enter the earthly plane through certain objects that they use as conduits between worlds. Even if you rid yourself of that object later, the demon has made the contact it needs and already walks among us. In the first stages of possession, the host human tends to withdraw from friends and family, becoming aggressive, even violent. This is the result first. of the spiritual battle between the host and the entity, both vying for control over the mortal body. The symptoms that indicate that the possession is progressing are dizziness, nausea, and headaches. The latter of which can be so intense as to render the host unconscious for days. The dark entity manipulates its host with visual hallucinations and voices in the mind. Destroying the sanity of the host is for the purpose of making them malleable, compliant. Person. This is how the demon fully exerts its insidious control. Oh, and before I forget, several cases of possession saw strange behavioral patterns in nearby insects, cockroaches in particular. My advice, steer clear of the insects. Okay. There's just no way I can't be possessed. I could it never be possessed. Mistake. Those pictures, that leg, that arm, I didn't do it. Dad thinks it was me, but I... I... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. My head. Uh-oh, headache time. A door. A red door. Uh, what's happening to me? Is this what that man was talking about? Maybe a little bit. It can't be happening to me all right you got it you did a good job Could get to the red door the basement door oh no I sequence broke it I went there too early
All right, Red Door, what do you got? You're you're fucking locked. I see. Oh, fucking cool. What? What is this place? It's a this ritual murder spot. What's what's wrong with me? Those symbols. I've seen them before. Oh. Okay. Uh... Oh, these are astronomical symbols. Mars and Jupiter. That would be Mars. Which one is Jupiter? That's Neptune, the moon. That's Saturn. Jupiter is the big one. Jupiter has like a four. What the fuck? like a crime scene. Oh fuck, there's a fucking Oh! There's 3? Jupiter and Mars, right? Wait, I was able to just... Pick it up this time. Weird. Clam? Two of three, maybe try and brute force it. The problem is, I don't know what the symbol for Jupiter is. Looks like a 24. Wait a second. What if I used... Huh. 
was the other one. Damn it! Don't use that toilet. There is no need to cut off the power right now. God damn it. God damn it. Is anyone even enjoying this? These aren't the shittiest streams I've done in my career. Okay. Let's say this is Mars. Right? Is that Jupiter? No? Is this Jupiter? Just... Hey, hold on. Can, is there any hint on the sides? No? Hold on. I'm gonna look it up. I don't even care. I don't even care. I don't even care. I don't even care. I... I... Like... Oh, somebody sent it. On the well, you'll find three padlocks. To open the well, you'll need to find the correct symbols that need to be input in the padlocks. Go back to the study and click a photo of the drawing on the wall. What? Go to the study. Dad said he was repairing Grandpa's house, but instead he's been investigating this woman? What is going on? Wow. <sighs> it's 
So wait, I had to take a photo of it even though the photo doesn't do anything? And I actually just need a trident Mars triangle? The photo fills in the circles? No, it doesn't! Does it? Oh, it does. Oh, now I gotta take the photo again. Fuck. Saturn. Saturn 2 blood. Got it. I really have to say, so far, this game is really just showing off um, how easily you can fucking destroy your horror game's atmosphere with convoluted puzzles. I am no longer scared. Just, I'm just frustrated. I did it. I are you, are you serious? Ah, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Oh no, a Satan. Got here. This box is extremely rusty. I won't be able to open it easily. Interesting. Can't go back, huh? I wasn't there a second ago. Officer Russell? Huh? Oh no, the police tape! I'll never get free! I'll never get free of this tiny police tape! Okay. 
Um. What the fuck is the point of this? Wait, how am I? Weequake says to fucking switch to the camera, and I'm like, fucking how? Oh my god, I have to hold it for so long! Look, look at this! Oh no, the kit is burnt. Oh no, it's the monster! It's a monster. Officer Russell here. June 17th, 1987, 527 AM. I am now entering Madison Hill's basement. Hill? 1987? I can see there's a sort of well in, in the center of the room. <sighs> Looks like it's open. I'm gonna investigate further, see what's on the other side of this. That's pretty gnarly. What was that? It was a spooky ghost lady. I think I'm not alone. There's definitely someone here. Madison? Is, is that you? Oh my god. Oh my god, it's so scary. Oh my god. Oh my oh my lord. Oh VLC, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me, VLC media player. You've helped me with so many animes. So, so this fucking camera belonged to that woman. 
Why is this happening to me? I gotta get the hell out of here. I can't believe it just, like, boo jumped at me. That's pretty good, though. Oh my god, oh no, oh my god, oh jeez lord, oh boy, I'm so scared. Oh my god, that was so scary. Can you believe it? All right. My head. Oh, it hurts. The attic. I don't understand. You know, as somebody with tinnitus, it's usually not that loud. It's usually a lot more subtle than that. Oh, okay. Yours gets that loud? Jeez, that's brutal, man. I'm sorry about that. Mine's pretty low-key. This is huge. I've never been here before. Hello. Blood key, huh? Five years old. Square portrait. But I don't want a square portrait. Forty-three. What could forty-three mean? Oh my god. Okay, well, I, that's good, but I need a hexagonal portrait. And... Oh, here we go. Age is just a number. You can add or subtract, but at the end of the day, when you, the time comes, you die anyway. What? The 
three was killed by a three-year-old woman. Police a woman was killed by a police killed a police officer. The forty-three by a police officer. The forty-three was killed by a three-year-old woman. Police a woman was killed by a police. Yeah, I get it. I fucking get it. What a mess. Let's see. The entrance key should be somewhere. Diary. March 22nd. They say having a diary is good for the brain. Well, let's see how it goes. Today we went to a garage sale. I found a book of recipes. Johnny came back with a book too. He's excited about it. It was a good day. Woke up in the middle of the night again. I swear there's something staring at me in the corner of the room. Today I found all my jewelry scattered around the room and my wedding ring inside the kitchen sink. I asked Johnny what he was looking for. He swears he didn't touch a thing. I had to bring Johnny to our bed. The book brought him causes nightmares. I have to admit, it was a little scary though. All my jewels out of place again. Can't find my wedding ring. It was the cutest gift Albert gave me, but Johnny wasn't at home. Sometimes I feel there's something else in the house watching my every step. Albert told me not to worry. You might, you might think I'm starting to go crazy. What a relief! I found the ring in John's room. Honestly, I don't know what to think. Didn't get any sleep. Could not get that stupid tale of the eyeless monster out of my head. Don't know why we bought him that shitty book. Haven't written for a long time. These weeks have been from doctor to another. Something's wrong with my eyes. Don't know what it is happening to them. Sights get blurrier every day and it hurts. God, doctor says I've lost more than 40% of my sight. Find it hard to read, write, watch TV, even think of other things. My pupils are kind of erasing from my eyes. I'm tired of meds. Nothing seems to help. Can't stand the pain. Why is this happening to me? It's hard for me to move around the house with my eyes. Can't stand the pain anymore. God help me, please. I'm scared. I know there's somebody in the house, but nobody believes me. I know it's true, even though I can't see it. Feel the presence. There's somebody living among us. There's someone in the house. I heard noises all night long. I swear someone breathing while I tried to get a glass of water. I just lost more than 80% eight, of my sight. Doctors say they no longer see any solution. I don't want to be alone in the house anymore. I'm not safe here. My ring's out of place again, but it doesn't matter. Nobody will find it now. I hit it just underneath. Why would he keep all this? Grandma died a long time ago. Did she? There are meds everywhere. What are these things? Oh, they're old films. Are you serious? Well, shit. I need another one. Which one's first, Neptune or Uranus? I want to say Uranus is actually first. What I need to find right now. Huh. It has no signal. I need to find another one of those little plates. Let's backtrack a little bit. Aha! It's... are you serious? Oh my- really?! There's a second- God! It 
must be broken. Yeah, I gotta tell you guys, uh, I think this game might be awful. And I have to say, it has extremely positive reviews on stream on Steam. And I'm shocked. I think this game might actually secretly be awful. Oh, the door's just unlocked now. Okay. It's open now. Okay. There's definitely someone here. Oh, I guess I should explore the remainder. <laughs> oh, it was a statue. Is it gonna move again? Oh. Yeah, I got got. You're right. Dad's room. I got got. That fucking statue. <laughs> it scaredified me. Am I going insane? Maybe. that just move the statue? These photos are pretty old. What's the point of the statue being moved? Okay. Well, so that's pretty good lighting trick right there. Grandpa's office. How to contact the dead. I see. All this time. We thought he went mad, but you need a combination. You know where to, to find it. Again. What? It just says ten. Yeah, there was a left-right thing earlier in the game.
There's two fucking locks in it. Jesus. I still don't know how to use these clocks. Okay, well now this part is fully cursed. Got it. Suck it. Wait, what am I supposed to be afraid of right now? What, what? Making progress, at least. Like, am I insane for missing some of these scares? Like, I, just, I literally don't even see some of them. Okay. So, Grandpa tried to contact Grandma with this thing? Is that blood? Oh my god, the door opened. It's all. Oh, it closed! Oh my god, the light went out. Really? Because I can see that that's not the statue. Could it be? Is happening in this house. I actually saw it too clearly and broke it. I broke that encounter. Go, Grandma. It's quite strange. <sighs> um, Are you serious? Like, but... I put them... What? What? Oh no! It's a math puzzle? How? Statue is here now? What statue? Thank you. 
I don't get it. I see. 56. 68. Well, how the fuck do you know which side is add and subtract? Don't? Okay, let's say... Diamond, 56. I am so fucking... Oh, the statue is here, isn't it? <sighs> Guys, I am fucking so confused. You have to take photos of the hanging locations? Why? I took photos of the locations with the- This sucks. This sucks. The rules for this are awful. Also, none of these are 25. Sixty-eight minus twenty-five is forty-three, but how do you know that's minus? It doesn't say minus! Thirty-eight. This should do it. The statue's gone! I, I don't know what happened. What happened? Oh, uh, a door is there. Oh, it's opening. It's scary. Oh, my God. Oh, did you see that? Slam so hard. Oh, wow.
that is that is the worst filter I have ever seen for light in my entire life. That is the worst. That is the absolute worst. It is actually just turning up the gamma. It is actually just turning up the gamma. Holy hell. Holy fucking hell. It is- it's just turning up the gamma. That's the regular lighting with higher gamma. On the walls. Wow. Stop. Wow. Okay, so guys, I'm gonna assume a lot of you have uh, watched my channel for a while. Am I the kind of guy who will jump out of my chair for almost any jump scare? Yeah, like I'll flip my shit over anything, right? Is it not, like, embarrassing that I don't think I'm even moved at that? Yeah, that's a sign of... I, like, they did a, like, a scary monster just appears... Ah, it's in front of you with a big noise. No. I don't even think I blinked. Dude, one time, Pat knew I was coming within 10 seconds. If you know what I mean. No, I'm kidding. I was coming towards him in 10 seconds, but he had his back turns, but he knew I was coming, and I still went... Hey, Pat, and tapped him on his back, and he screamed. I'm a if, big baby. If you can't scare this tiny round man, you did a bad job. Yeah. If, yeah, bad. Fuggins is here. He knows. He knows. He's known me for 20 years. He's seen me almost pee pee my pants many a time based on nothing. Oh, by the way, um, I forgot. Did you still need your diaper changed? No, I did it myself. Thank you. When you, when you went poo poo. Yeah, I know. I did it okay. myself. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I got startled and yelled the other day when you walked in the room. Yeah. That was just a few days ago. Hey, is chicken okay for dinner? Chicken's great. Yeah. Paige makes a, like a mean lemon chicken, let me tell you. Here's the, the recipe. She takes the chicken and she cooks it, and then she puts a lemon on it. It's probably more complicated than that, but I don't get it. Oh, I'm going in a circle. Oh, okay, cool. I can't believe it just raises the gamma. I can't believe it just raises the gamma. Oh, I can run, too. Oh, but I don't see a spooky monster in the leftmost curve. Boy, I am hella lost, let me tell you. I wonder if a spooky monster can- ah!
Un jeu pour vous. I wonder what the trick to this sequence is. I hope it's not get scared by the monster enough times. There's bloody handprints on both sides. Nothing. Bloody handprints. I have to follow the bloody handprints. It's not very helpful. Oh no! Not trying, I'm not trying to pass off nothing. Shut up. Wait, no, it was this way. Yep, it was this way. Is there any danger from the monster? It doesn't seem to have attacked you yet. Nope, doesn't seem to, has it? This is so fucking embarrassing. This is so bad. Oh my god. There's nothing in front of me. What is it trying to jump scare me with? There's nothing. Okay, sure. All right. I, I gotta get out. That didn't even. That didn't even. That didn't even get me. This is cool, though. I can't believe it's just the gamma. I can't believe it's just the gamma. It's so bad. Oh my god. A graveyard? How how did I get here? I hate graveyards. Oh no, it's the graveyard of 
Alexis, it's a bit of a dower bottle. Sure does. Except by the ghosts! Oh no. Oh no, it's the. Oh no, it's the body pit! What am I doing? Go. This goes down really deep. I want to take a second and respond to a comment. Second Burial says, My problem with these kinds of games is if you have no method of attack, you know you can't die from fighting something. So it kills the tension from the start. Not all walking some horror games are bad, but there are so many of these. Yeah, I don't think that's the biggest problem. I think the biggest problem is that I've been playing it for over two hours and I have yet to take damage or be killed. Which means that nothing can hurt me. Well, this place is cool. Biblical maze. Cool. Twenty twenty two, that's this year. Nineteen eighty seven, that's before. Oh, my God. It's the years. It's the evil, bad years. didn't look like this a second ago. That's true. <sighs> no, I'm good. Green. Yeah, sure, fine. I think the color of life, I think of blue. What? I should just play Evil Within, too. Oh, it stays green. Weird. Okay. Man, Evil Within 2 is not as much fun when it is on hard mode. It is kind of, like, incredible how much less fun it is on hard mode. Mad Sun Hale? Is this her coffin? 
The eye is missing. Red room. It's a maze about Jesus. I defeated the maze. What the fuck? Okay, one, that maze was easy. Oh. Number two. This party isn't, isn't even lit up good. What does it want from me? I got a red candle, but so what? Any opinion on this game selling cosmetic DLC? You could buy extra camera skins. I don't think this game is worth even half of its own price! Let alone fucking cosmetic DLC for the fucking camera! What the fuck this puzzle is. I need to time travel and collect candles. Okay. No, I can't light the candle. My, uh... My fucking lighter got taken away from me. Oh my god, it's 1951. Oh my god. What's up, bitch? Hello? Excuse me. Can you get my mother? Nancy. I did it. I, 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 I finally did it. I, did you have to understand? It was like living with a monster. No, he never loved me. He was a liar. He lied to me. He lied to you. He lied to everyone. He, he was a liar. He, he lied to himself. He tried to pretend he didn't have the past. He did. He was a, a vile, disgusting, despicable piece of garbage. <sighs> no. He just wanted to marry me. To get away from his crimes. He knew he couldn't stay in Germany. He, he knew he knew his past was coming to get him. He knew it. He, knew. he, he tried to pretend it was all gone. It was gone. It chased him. It haunted him. It haunted me. the gas chamber. He took so many innocent lives. He destroyed them. He just I do that. There were days I would look into his eyes and I would see a void emptiness to nothing looking back at me. He was already dead. Only God knows how many lives he had taken, but not anymore. I made sure he would not hurt another person. I made sure so, he suffered. In the 50s and 60s, there were a lot of guys who managed to squirrel away that eventually got found out by relatives. Hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Oopsie doodle. Grandpa was a Nazi. Be your name. Your kingdom come. 
here with on earth as it is in heaven. Our Father in heaven, hallowed. The color of the sky, the color of the sea, the color of the tears. It's blue! And yellow. The color of life, the color of the sun, the color of our Your Father Lord. Lord. Yeah, 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 you're praying. Our Father in heaven, be your name. She's praying. Oh, the green and red are still here? That's weird. Okay. Jesus down. Jesus defeated. Fuck. Yeah, rest in piss, Jesus. You should have saved that Ligmata joke. You really should have. You really should have. This green uh, fucking maze is pathetic. It's also wrong. Color of life wasn't represented there. Holy shit, bitch. Are you still going? Holy fucking hell. Your kingdom come. Your Shut up. Let's go check out the, the yellow zone. This is the god zone. Oh my god, pathetic. Lord. Lord almighty. I don't know if we're supposed to wait to, for her to complete the rosary or anything. Because she's going to go for a while. Right, because she killed a guy. Your will be done on earth. No, okay. Looks like 2022 is a good spot to head towards. Now that this place is fucking cool. Yellow candle. candle. Alright, let's hit it. Back to 51. Oh, I get it. I found the red candle in 87. I found the yellow candle in 22. And I'll probably 
find a blue one in 51. I don't understand why it's still making scary noises at me when I'm using it to travel. <sighs> this is the wrong one. I'll have to travel to 87 to plant the piss candle. Hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. He, your will be done. He's here. On earth as it is in heaven. Whatever that means. Hallowed be your name. Oh! Oh, so oh, I'm spooked. Oh, scary. Oh, no. Oh, no. How? Oh, big scary. Oh, no. Somebody says I, they think I missed the one of the things in the bell tower. Let's go check. Because it's green up here, right? So it should have a little pissy, pissy green candle, right? But I don't see it. I don't see nothing. Was that the bell I heard at the graveyard? Oh. All right, off to the yellow zone. That's a good email. Hey Pat, I'm part of a tech startup. Do you want to collaborate with our brand new tech startup? We're offering discounted subscriptions to your users. Nah, I think I'm good, guys. Nah, I think I'm good. I did red, and I did yellow, right? So, what now? Like where I get candle now. Uh, yeah, I don't have the blue candle. Go back outside, enter the blue maze and continue. Place the blue candle. Yeah, I don't have the blue candle. Well, that's cool, actually. Yeah, no idea where I would get a blue candle.
Go to 1951 and get the blue candle on a chair there? Is that... God damn it. Oh, great. It's just right here in the dark room. No, it's an 87. No, it's down here. Never mind. Yo, this game sucks, man. Like, ooh. Like, oh. What am I working towards? I don't know. God damn it, it's the wrong year. Go play some Holocure instead of this. No, I'm invested. I'm invested in the storyline. I'm so invested, guys. You know it. God, the fact that it has the audacity to try and scare you after you're trying to do this over and over and over is fucking hilarious. Hilarious. I'm in a circle, okay. Still in a circle, okay. There we go. There you go. Jesus, Lord. It was? Oh my god, it was. I was thinking of the green photo. God damn it. God damn it, it was in fucking 51. God, hell, fuck, shit, damn. Also, I don't know why, but this game's frame rate, despite being at 140, is terrible. That's not just the stream. I checked out how long to beat on this. It's like three hours. So without that, this puzzle, it may in fact be completable in like two hours, which is fucking devious. I did it. That's everything but green. 
So where's the green one? Is this open yet? Nope. I'm going to assume that it's an 87 in the green room. I think that's a fair assumption. Is it? I don't know. I don't fucking know. If I can't- if it's not here, then hopefully fucking Queequeg will tell me where the fucking green camera is. Sorry, the green... Green candle. Yep, it's not here, fuck me. It's sitting on some fucking bench. Out of view somewhere. You're busy in a dungeon? Oh my god, Queequeg. You failed me. I can't believe it. How could you have done this? You know, why does God give all of his hardest struggles to his strongest warriors? I, I could, I could, I could use a break, Lord. I could, I could use a fucking gimme, alright? I don't candlestick is obtained after talking to the girl in the confession booth. Though it, no! No, that is not... There's no way. I'm supposed to think to go back in here? I think that was supposed to be her husband. Nope. Gotta go to A7. You know, I hope you guys are having fun going through this absolute fucking overpriced piece of shit with me. Because, whoa, whoa. This is some. Dragoon is fun? Good for you, Quick Quick. Have you not played Dragoon before? Dragoon is fun. I, I, I'm looking forward to see them streamline it in the next patch. Man, once uh, everything calms down and we're fully moved in, I am going to, like, just spend so much fucking time leveling up classes and doing nothing in fucking 14 and just chilling out. Get myself a big chair for my fat ass. Shit in it. Just shit in it. 
Yeah, just poop in it. I did it. Just pooped. The bell. Oh, it's the bell. Oh my god. It's finally ringing. Yeah, angels are green. Don't you know that? Stupid. I feel if the game ends within the next half hour, I'm gonna laugh super hard, because holy shit. Oh my god, it's the key. But to what? It's a key to the confessionary. Now I can open up the door in 1987, 51. You know, Amnesia started the horror renaissance of bad horror games. Everything that came off Amnesia that wasn't, like, stealing from Silent Hill or Resident Evil or Clock Tower or fucking Alone in the Dark was complete trash. Oh my god, there was no one in there, it was a ghost. What? Oh, the eye. I did all of the. Oh no. Oh no, it's a. Oh no, it was a monster. Take that, you bitch. Now I can stomp on her bones. Hell yeah. Her skull. Oh my god, it's a brick wall! Impo it's impossible! Oh no, something's gonna attack me! The lights are all gonna go out one in a row, aren't they? Oh no, more bricks! Sealed off. Oh no, oh god! Oh, it's impossible! I'll never get out of here until I get jump scared. Oh no, the lights are getting worse every time I do it! Oh, something, please don't jump out at me. Uh, one to three rotations of this gimmick. Oh no! The door went away! I hope this door doesn't go away too! Or burst open. Oh no!
Wait, really? Wait, was that a death? Is that a fail state? It's sealed off. Does that mean all those other times that I take pictures of the monster, I'm just doing it like way ahead of time? and instantly passing things that are actually combat. What? Okay. All right, whatever. Yeah, I didn't even think of doing that until I saw somebody in the chat mention it. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Tape number two. Becoming possessed by a wicked entity is signified by a loss of control over the body, mind, and the soul. However, that is often not enough for the entity. It hungers for more. Things get much worse for the host. In these cases, possession is just the first step of the demon's plan. It is said there are those that return to our world seeking to resolve unfinished matters from their mortal lives. Unfinished the victims matters. of these wicked possessions are subjected to a departure of sorts. An astral transportation, for lack of a better word. An astral what? These malicious beings force their hosts to... to live moments that shouldn't be possible in a different place and time, perhaps even in a different dimension altogether. It's madness. It's unclear whether these 
transportations occur inside the mind, or if the host is physically taken to some alternative reality. Alternative reality? Wow. I'm losing my mind. I don't care. Oh no, it's the spooky statue! The spooky. This is an evil statue. Actually, no, let me take that. All right, so I gotta admit, um, I did all that and I got a skull. And now I'm a little uh, confused as to what the game wants. I guess I should put the skull somewhere. But, uh, as to where exactly? Not really sure. Right, it's the grandma house. Right. Skull in the toilet is possible. But I can't quite open it yet. What? After the call is over, go to the small room in Grandma's room and get the key under the floorboard? You cannot possibly be serious. I think there's something else under that plank. Oh. Oh, I see. I see now. I see. It's the roaches. You're supposed to follow the roaches. Yeah, this, this, like, this game really does feel like it's been designed specifically to, to fucking run out the refund timer. Like, for real. The crowbar is in the basement. I'm, I'm... What the hell is this place? I'm in the basement right now. What the? Oh, thanks. What the fuck is the? Oh, hey. Oh, is that changing the... It is. It is changing the layout. Okay. Alright. Okay. That sounded like a grandma. Luca. Oh, 
I see you, bitch. Maybe. Okay. I'm a little fucking confused as to what the game actually even wants. Like, I'm, like... Like, I feel like it wants to lock me in here while I search for a fucking item on these shelves so that it can jump scare me at random. Oh, that's exactly what it's trying to do. That's act that's absolutely exactly what it's trying to do. Okay. That woman. She doesn't show in the photos. Somehow the photos of her. They burn. Yeah, because she's evil. Because she's evil, bro. So I want to point something out. We'll just stand here for a second. You guys have probably been hearing it for most of the playthrough. In fact, there it was just now. Uh, this game is trying to use 3D positional audio to scare you uh, by using uh, binaural uh, sound to ping noises in the background, such as a door or a creak or something falling over. Um, but it does it every 45 to 90 seconds. It does it all the time. Like that. Um, so I'm ignoring it. Oh, must be. My, my eyes, my eyes burn. Rot row. I, I, I need to get out of this fucking house. Oh no, my notebook. It's a chair over a big red asshole. Oh, it's an eye. Oh my god. I don't remember seeing that at all.
Unless it's this chair. Where, where did these come from? Body exchange ritual. Body exchange ritual. I, Sentimental object. I need Seven to sacrifices. To Two bodies: a guest and ghost, and then human ashes. Okay. Got it. That's what the sun box is for. See, that's a good example of the noise I was talking about before. So rusted. There we go, finally. <sighs> this is from Grandma's diary. Hey, when Albert spends the night working. It gets dark, it's like the world turns upside down. Creaking noises in the house, and so no my sight's getting worse, but yesterday I got lost. It's not because of my sight. Rooms are moving around. I couldn't even find my bedroom. We're not safe. Not anymore. Not with this thing living among us. Albert got mad at me for lighting candles all over the house, but for some reason I think that light protects us. There must be something useful here. You mean like this fucking big ass fucking saw? Oh, hello. What did that do? Owned. This would be crazy unsafe. Alright, well that puzzle was fucking ace. Oh my god, and they're bleeding! Oh my god! Wait, really? That's all you're gonna give me? They must be somewhere? The toilet! They're in the toilet!
Obviously. Oh my god, it's a fancy box. What the f fuck? How many times do I have to tell you there's nobody in this house? Al I'm done with your bullshit. Albert, listen to me. It's just a book. A fucking book, Elizabeth. See? There's no one here. It doesn't exist. It's I not real, goddammit. I know. Everything that's happening to me has something to do with it. I just know it. It's a disease, Elizabeth. You are sick, for the Lord's sake. I'm not sick. You'll end up losing your mind if you don't cut the crap. That book has nothing to do with your illness. I wish you stopped acting like a child. Stop hiding our stuff and take your goddamn pill. Jeez! Do you, do you think it's normal? Do you think pupils vanish like dust? I'm telling you that that, that fucking thing is what's causing Enough, this for me. Enough, Elizabeth. Stop acting like a ten-year-old and go to bed. Alpha. Everything started the day we brought that fucking book to this house. This is a Elizabeth. Do you not believe me? I will leave this place. I'm done. And I'm taking Johnny with me. We are not staying hey, hey, here. Hey, wait a minute. This is... This is way too much. You're paranoid. I'll leave it. It's 4 a.m., Elizabeth. Just... just Go back to bed before we wake up Johnny. Come on. We can talk about this now. You're gonna regret this. You'll end up all alone. Just you on your stupid fucking clock! Okay. I mean, yeah, you can come in if you want. Yeah, you don't have to be rude about it. I'm gonna try and put the cement block over here, just as a fucking whatever. Never mind, I tried the crowbar. If you find this, do not listen. Oh, I'm gonna listen to that shit. You can't stop me, motherfucker. I have no idea what to do with this fucking concrete block. That is a public domain door noise. Where he belongs. 
I feel like I'm gonna get murdered at the end of this tape. Please, this is behind and will find what he has been looking for. Oh, the kitchen where he's written this song just for you. They're actually pinging a lot of the ambient noise directly behind me. So let's turn on and, and die. Wow, I'm actually kind of shocked. So, um, what the fuck do I do with the concrete block? Let's look at the, let's see if we can find some bugs. Nothing yet, so I'm still just looking for the code. Do I have to unlock the safes? Sofa, take a photo of the horns here shown. This will give you the first digit. The code varies from game to game. You'll need to check. What the fuck? Take a photo of the fucking horns? How the f It doesn't even have a digit on it. Wait, go to the ritual room and collect cassette three kept on the window. Go to the hall and play it. What? Which one's the ritual room? Oh, the, the big room with the evil? This game's so aggressive about having to do things in this, like, highly curated order. And it, it pings, like, new fucking items. God, lord. Like, it, there's no way to tell where these new items have dropped. Yes, that's what that You're fucking fine. means, dude. No longer human. Seek help. I'll investigate that woman you told me about. Um, Madison Hale. And I'll get back to you as soon as I find something. Keep all of this information away from your son. Oops. Get rid of that camera as soon as you get this message. But please, please do be careful. If your child has already had contact with this entity, his life, yours, and your family's are Mom. in jeopardy. Chanel, what have I done? 
You probably chopped up your mom and, uh... I need to find a way to end this. Fuck. It burns. You look like shit, kid. My body burns. Horns? I think I've seen Oh man, this there is no chance of being able to get that code yourself. Three. No, 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 not again, no, fuck, I, I can't feel my fingers, what is happening to my body? Oh my god, guys, I really can't feel my body right now. I don't know what this could mean, there was a red light, but everything was dark. I really can't feel my body right now. The, the doorbell. I, I gotta get to the front door. The doors? Well, that's... Okay. <laughs> She's playing with my mind. Candles, dead animals. There is no... Photographs of the dismembered limbs of her victims. Apparently, the woman photographed the corpses while mutilating them. It is still unclear whether the photos were part of the rites she was carrying out, or if she simply took the photos to a one of the other corpses. According to police reports, the third victim was a 27-year-old man. Okay. There are no numbers on this one. Okay. What is thirteen pieces? What the f The final victim was a five year old woman. Madison stabbed her at her own front door. Oh, that's neighbors witnessed her dragging the body into the house and notified the police. Oh, that's okay. unrecognizable in more than thirteen pieces. Okay, hold on. Let's let's start. The third victim was a twenty-seven year old man. Madison hit his head with a sharp object 
I'm I'm looking at Queequeg and some of the other people like dumping how to actually do it in the uh in the chat, and I can't believe how obtuse these fucking solutions are. Did it. One down. One down. Oh my god, I'm doing it! He was 27 years old! It's a key. I believe that might actually be the clock key. It's really getting me. Ooh, scary. 
Me? Wow. Me. The fuck? It stopped me in my tracks. That was weird. All right, clock room. Oh, weird. God. My body. My hands. This is what the priest was talking about. That thing is... <laughs> Thing is feeding off of me. <laughs> what the fuck does this even mean? The house is full of clocks. Okay, five, uh, what was that? 540? No, that's 12, uh, 1225. to work in here. So there's one in here that's the right time. Except they're all the same time. Oh, not all of them. Yeah, it's 12.25, right? Well, you tell me I can't open that with a crowbar? Are you serious? Aha. Uh -huh. Remember, combination. Nine left. Eleven. Okay, so that's green. Nine left, eleven right. If we go to the bathroom, nine left, eleven right, five left. Nine, nine left, eleven right, five left, nine, nine, eleven. Ah! Okay! Alright, well, I know I'm going the right way. I'm sorry?
Try the other safe. It wanted nine clicks to the left, not nine on the- that's bullshit. An old man already in my life has passed to all of us. I'm so proud to see the man you become and so happy to deeply enjoy the grandchildren, Luca and Chanel. I write this letter so you may not understand that everything's going on, that I'm a crazy old man. God does exist and just like him to Satan. All my life I tried to believe. Time to show me I was profoundly- I tried hard not to believe, but I was profoundly mistaken. Mistaken. Your mother was not sick at all, but it couldn't prevent her sad ending from happening. As far-fetched as it sounds, Blue Knees is real. Not a single specialist is able to trace down her, the cause of her condition. I truly wish I could go back in time and tell her I believe you. I kept trying to contact her for over 15 years. I want to speak with her one last time. Soon we'll meet again, and I'll beg her to forgive me. Loneliness reminds me day after day how hard it had to live without my most precious and beloved person in the world. At least I could see her face in every room of this huge house. Regarding the book, I tried to burn it, tear it, bury it. There's no use bothering, it somehow manages to get back. Anyway, I keep it in my possession or lock and key. It will not allow history to repeat itself. Thank you for being the son I've always dreamed to have. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, 25, huh? Six forty. This seems pretty bad. This seems like the worst one. Ah! Oh, fucking... Whatever. Twelve twenty-five. Well, now what? Okay. There are a total of nine clock pieces. One in green safe, one in the corridor outside, one in the attic, one in the kitchen, one in the hallway, and four outside in the clock room. After you have solved the puzzle, click a photo of the room and the clock is shown in the picture. This will get, what the fuck? What does it even fucking want?
You have to make the clock match to the others around it? That's... What, 620? Sorry, 820? Which one's that? That's 640. Oh, this game better slap. This is the shittiest of all puzzles. And I bet it's fucking pseudo-randomized. <sighs> 640, that's one of them. Were you guys scared? I was scared. There was a loud noise. Okay. Here. Okay. I heard a weird... I heard a noise. What's that? That's 625. Oh god, there's another one? What is that? That's 510, right? Okay, and what's that? That's 12... Wait, wait, what? That is 11.55? Isn't one of these that I have 11.55? Where the... Where'd I put 11.55? Is that 11.55? It is! So why didn't it click? If it has to be the top one, I'm gonna lose my mind. Okay. 11.55 and this are done. The two remaining are 5.10 and 8.20. Five ten and eight twenty. Ah! Five ten and eight twenty. Yeah.
Five, ten, and eight. That's pretty good. Seven forty five. Well, there's five ten. Oh my god. That was so scary. What's that? Yo, this game sucks. But I'm too far in. It's called, uh... Fucking, uh... What's this called? Fucking Madison. Yo, this game sucks, bro. No. 820. Oh my god, where the fuck is 820? Okay, there's four in here. Right? There's four in here. There's one in outside the green clock room. One in the the kitchen. Nine. Oh, whatever. Uh, one in green safe, corridor, grandpa's office, one in the attic, one in the kitchen, one in the hallway outside the clock room, four in the clock. Okay, let's try the attic. This might be the shittiest puzzle I have ever done in a, in a horror game. It makes you constantly backtrack to all these different portions of the house to get pieces, and you- it's- it's a fucking mess. It's like the backtrackiest. I think that's it. 820? Yeah, 820. I did it. Yeah, Visage kicks the shit out of this. Like, not even close. Somebody said it's worse than the endgame of Prime 2. Dude, I really like Metroid Prime 2. Actually. I think Emperor Ing's a little too tough. But aside from that, it's pretty good. I fucking did it. Oh my god. The clocks are attacking me, everyone. I'm being attacked. Scary, I'm scared. Ooh, scary. Okay. Are you are you fucking serious? What the fucking photo of the door wasn't good enough? After you have solved the puzzle, click a photo of the door in the clock room. This will give you the third. Enter the room and... After you have solved the puzzle, click a photo of the door in the clock room as shown in the picture. This will give you the third. Enter the room and collect the unfinished... Wait. Look at the photo I opened it with. It doesn't work like that.
Okay, two. One. Okay, oh, thank God. Three, one, two. Oh, thank God. So here's my problem. Under normal ass video game rules, I should be able to go open it now. I can't, I can't take this anymore. Right? I just can't. My whole body is going now. Why is this happening to me? <laughs> this must be a combination of something. Oh, that's got to be the red safe. Okay, Queequeg, he has the the code, but how are you supposed to get the code? By looking at the picture? What? Oh! Okay. Well, that's kind of interesting. You sure it was seven? Four, three? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Probably random. Let's take a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve left. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait. One, two, three. Eight, twelve, eight, one, two, three, four, five. Twelve, eight, five. You no, honey, I'm just counting. Nailed it. It's money. And it's Johnny's key. Who the fuck is Johnny? I don't remember. It's the kid, right? So that would be his dad. Which I believe we're actually walking to Johnny's room right now. Go to hell. This used to be dad's room. What happened in here? Yeah, that'd be nice. Oh, I get it. Increasing weight. I'm carrying too much already. What's the what's the we what's the smallest? A rat. Right? What's the second smallest? A rabbit. No thanks. Third smallest, a snake. Shark's definitely the biggest. Huh. Is is a snake the the, the small?
Swap rabbit and snake? Yeah, probably. Rabbits aren't that heavy. Also, the problem is that I'm thinking of a garden snake instead of, like, what that could be a big snake. Yeah, that's definitely a solution. Or not! Really? In order to save the bird, rabbit, snake, rat, shark. Oh. It's not by weight, it's the fucking order. Rabbit, snake, rat, shark. As per the story, the rabbit is at the top, sn rat is below rabbit, snake is below the rat, and shark is at the bottom. Is this okay? Oh, that'd be great. Thank you. Is that alright? Yes. Whoa! 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 Okay. That's a good one. That's stupid. These look like they're the same. Blue knees. That everyone was talking about. Long time ago, there's a creature whose name was unknown. It always lived alone, was often seen on its own. When freezing frosty night began to feel so very somber that it fell into a two-day slumber. Third day, woke up in blackness with an illness so serious that both its eyes had vanished in the darkness. The creature creeped out of bed and started crawling, looking for the eyes that were sure were rolling. It slithered and rolled so its knees turned blue and sore, since his eyes popped and tumbled both and his dust crumbled. It's to this day that it does not have a clue, but it's no excuse to end the pursuit. Now beware! Those fleeting eyes, make sure to turn on the lights for your own size at stake and you cannot escape. He's afraid of the light, you seem to be bright for protection. Okay. Okay. The, the room has changed. Yeah. Oh, that smells good. My name is Johnny. No, this is impossible. You suck, Johnny. But I think Dad broke this. I need something to throw down in there. But there's nothing in this room. Um... This puzzle is impossible. Oh. Nailed it. The fact that, like, they these are interactable, but they want you to take pictures actually throws me pretty bad. I have a new friend. His name's Blue Knees.
Oh, it's this room. Wow, this song sucks. Okay. I don't pick it up. I just leave it there. All right. What, what does it want from me? What, like... If I hear the music cue, I have to hit him with the camera flash? W fucking what? Yeah, I'll try the record player in the fucking room. <sighs> Bathroom's probably dangerous. Oh, the attic's done with. The house feels like a maze. Wait, what the fuck? The layout is all messed up. What was referring to in her diary? getting insta-killed every time I try and do a puzzle. Blue Knees is behind me, so he comes at me from directly in front of me. You need to play the full song on the gramophone. The gramophone containing the eye is loaded aside randomly. You need to keep playing all the gramophones until you get two eyes. Oh, it's it's just random. It's it's wow. It's it's just completely random. Gotcha, bitch. That's two eyes. Go back into the Johnny's room and throw them. What? 
But I don't even... I don't even get to have the eyes. Do I? I think you have to let the song play until the- No, it stops at that part! If you can't pick them up, they're bad. Oh. Okay. They're the bad random eyes. Oh, okay. Wow, that is terrible. That is just awful. Is this... <laughs> Holy shit! This is awful! What am I supposed to do? You know what, I'll try some of the other ones, I guess. Cause, Jesus lord. That's... that's fucking abysmal. Holy Christ. Well, this is an okay spot. Only one problem. I face the fucking thing. Okay, so here's the problem. The song itself has creaking and gurgling in it. Oh, give me a fucking break! Give me a fucking break! Wow! Wow. He spawns on a timer. You can put your back to wall and wait for him, blast him with the camera, and play the song. Repeat this process. That sucks. Does that mean if I do this fast enough, I can just beat him?
Let's just wait a second. Too soon, huh? That is bullshit. This is a bunch of crap. Stand here and wait for him. He has no eyes. How can Flash bother him? I don't know. It makes no sense. Oh, wow. He, he is, in fact, timed. That is b embarrassing. Hey, babe. Uh, you doing you doing your dance? Yeah, what do you think? I think it's better than this. Yeah. What about this? I love your white girl dancing, Paige. Great foot. It's great. It's pretty good. What's that? So it's pretty good. Huh? It's pretty great. Guys, I hate this. I want all of you to think I'm really cool. This song sucks! Fuck! Holy shit! They should not have bought this song and book for their child. One down. Ah! Bitch! Should not have bought this for their child. That was a bad move. Since I just killed him, I might be able to get him. For fuck's sake. This ambient noise shit is the worst. Oh, it's tied to the music? The flickering fucking lights are tied to the music? Fuck, I'm lost. I'm fucking lost. How the fuck do I get back to Johnny's room? I fucking did it. Die, you stupid prick. So Griffin wasn't sick at all. This thing is what really killed. Where are you, bitch? Hmm. 
Ah! How is this a boss fight? Oh, it's not. Five. God damn, this sucks. Five, two, one, five, two, one, three, three, one, two, five. Shut up, you old broad. Would you stop making that noise? Holy fuck. Jesus. Christ. Oh, am I vignetted? Oh, okay. Is this the final stretch? I can't use the camera. I gotta walk my ass back there the hard way. That looks like a regular person. I can't believe how many of these fucking scares are just bouncing right off me. I'm the most startled person ever. This game is farts, dude. You're right, Robo, Robo Squeeb. You're right. Yeah, that looks like a regular person. I did it. What? Oh, it's some ashes of Elizabeth Maxwell. Dad's head, the hanged son. son. Okay. I'm gonna do it. It's the only way. Uh... 
Wait, I'm sorry. Did that just imply that the main developer on this game died making it? It says, in memory of Alberto Di Stefano. And the lead on it is Alberto Di Stefano. Alexis? Oh, is his dad then, I guess? Also, I need to check something. Harder enemies. Why? Why? These are all DLC, by the way.
That was one of the shadiest horror games I've ever played to completion. And it costs 40 bucks. That is, that is woefully overpriced. I played dozens of free games during the shitstorm that were much better. Well, I hope you all enjoyed it. We did it. We beat the whole game. That that mm, gonna gonna add this to done with forever. Remove from work and uninstall. I'm gonna check uh, some achievements. Some of these are pretty obvious. Finish the game under six hours is an achievement. Find a collectible, find a red collectible, find every blue collectible, find every collectible. Survive the entire blue knees section. Complete mausoleum under five minutes. Complete the tunnels under three minutes. Break the shovel. An item I never found. All right, I'm going to thank some people, and Paige is making chicken, so I'm, that'll cheer me up. I want to thank everybody for coming out, going through this unfortunate full LP. There were multiple sections that were clearly just padding to get around the uh, the Steam refund. Hey, Mel Brooks, K.A. Sub. Thanks, man. Hey, Pat, I'm back from Norway. Hot take. That place is beautiful. Also, fuck whoever decided Terminal 5 in London Heathrow Airport. I have heard literally no one say anything nice about Heathrow Airport in my life. Ever. That place apparently fucking sucks shit. I have never had the pleasure of going there myself. James Cork sub. Thanks, man. Hey, Pat, I just finished Heaven's Word. And I'm level 75. Am I doing it right? My friends say I'm too overleveled, to which I see hee hee, dragoon, jump, go, burr. Uh, James, if you play the game regularly and do roulettes, like, the game for your first character will absolutely overlevel you to piss. And that's fine. That's totally fine. On the expansion comes out, you naturally hit max level through the course of the expansion. They want leveling on your main character to be a triviality. It's Papster Sub, thank you. So did Yee's Crack, who says, Boo. Uh, Wizard of Diamonds says, I love the Bumpus. Give him a big kiss. I will. Tuna Dude Sub, hey, I don't know exactly what happened, but I'm here now, so it's all better, right? Nope. Dieter sub for four years. Four year sub. Four years well spent. Thanks, Dieters. Azato sub says spooky scary. It was, yeah. Mask of Michael kicked in 500 bits. Man, horror games have some obtuse fucking puzzles. Like in Them and Us, you have to solve two puzzles on opposite sides of the map to get two halves of a key. That you get an item that leads you to a shortcut. So you can solve another puzzle with an item. You got hours of gameplay. Okay, go. I still think my favorite 
I can't believe I still need this item is in Resident Evil Zero where you need to use the uh, grapple gun that you got from the train on like uh, a roof two thirds through the game. That you assuredly left like 40 rooms away. By the way, as Mass points out, this is some obtuse fucking puzzles. Shout out to Queequeg and the others who gave up on their usual don't help Pat um, uh, method and helped Pat. Appreciate it. Shady Squid sub to say, this game sucks lamau. You're right. Falcons for you, Supernova and Winter Titan all sub. Thanks, guys. It's Mr. Sup Sub. Sup's Pat. As somebody who helped make a horror game in college, I can tell you it's a nightmare to get designers to actually make actual gameplay beyond it's spooky. If there's no fucking threat, you can't actually be fucking scared. You know what the worst thing for your horror game is? Repeated deaths. Ideally, you want people in your horror game to almost die a bunch of times. Critical said the game was pretty good. Don't know what he was smoking. I mean, to be fair, people like me and Susie have a bit more of like a intense appreciation for horror games. I would say I've probably played maybe 70% of all horror games ever released. Right? Like, I... Mm, this is a this is a stinker. Hey, hey, hey! I'm not gonna take anybody joshing on Charlie. Charlie's a saint. I still remember watching his goddamn uh, fucking fish move Black Ops One video many years ago. God, that was like fucking 15 years ago. God damn. McCrieg sub. Thanks, man. Tip sub. Let's be honest. Zangief is the alpha now and has taken all of your food. That's not true. We keep many foods away from him or else he will get fat. And we love him. As you can see, he's a little chubby boy over there. But we don't want him... And he's, he's going to be naturally stocky, right? Because he's a big boy. But we don't want him to get fat. While bulldogs are absolutely maybe the cutest dogs when fat, it's also bad for their knees and their arms and their shoulders and their legs and their, and their heart. So we don't want him to be a fat boy. When we, brought him, when we bring him to the vet... They're always like, wow, he's a big boy, because his, like, numerical weight is pretty high for a bulldog. But they look at his hips, they look at his waist, he's got a well-defined waist, they can feel his ribs, no problem, right? He's just big, he's just, he's just about 10, maybe 20% bigger than other bulldogs. So we don't feed him human food, ever. The only human food this dog gets is that one which he can steal. Which he occasionally manages. Mr. Boris Makarov subs says, thanks. Thanks, Boris. I appreciate it. It's, it's really... When I see people who have subbed and I recognize their name and I see stuff like 64 months... Uh, it, it it doesn't seem appropriate that all I really have to say is, hey, man, thanks, I appreciate it, but I really do. It, it means a lot that you are a long-term patron of my stuff, and I get to keep doing what I do because of people like you. So thanks, Boris. Say I appreciate it 65 times? I'm not going to do that. That's No, that's too much.
And yeah, Queequeg's in the chat. He's pointing out that uh, Bulldogs can't swim. Like, at all. Um, they're too dense. And they're too small compared to their weight. So they sink like fucking rocks. They absolutely need life jackets. If you put a bulldog in a pool, like, they can tread water a little bit, but sooner or later they will sink right to the bottom. <laughs> you are not- if you have a bulldog, you do not bring them anywhere near water without a little doggy life jacket. Or the willingness to dive in and save them. Okay, but like, think of a golden retriever, right? Golden Retrievers can swim no problem, right? You know how much a Golden Retriever weighs? Like 65 pounds. That dog is one-third the size of a Golden Retriever and weighs 15 pounds extra. Yeah, no shit, he'll fucking sink like a fucking rock. Will they jump into water? No hesitation? Oh, no. This, this dog, he's stubborn and he's willful, but he's also a pussy. Harriam, sorry, here I am, gifted five subs. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Bad Juba sub, thank you. Sydney Miller kicked in a sub. Hey, Pat. Hey, Paige, you might uh, want to help on this. Oh, never mind. Actually, the answer, I have the answer. Never mind. What? What do you want? Hey, Pat, which, do you remember which episode of the season of the X-Files has a fish man in it? Is it the fluke man one? Yes. It yes. is the fluke worm fish man episode in which Mulder fucking catches a fish man. And then other people see it. And, and he... And, uh, fucking Scully sees it. Everyone sees it and knows it. And they submit a report where he's like, I caught a fish man. And he talks to his boss about it, and he's like, wow, a fish man, huh? It's one of the weirdest episodes of the early X-Files, because every single episode is like, oh, we never, you know, we didn't get a good look, or only Mulder saw it, or, you know, whatever. And then he's just hanging out with Skinner, just being like, yeah, I caught the fucking fish man. They're transporting it in a truck. I got 30 eyewitnesses that saw me load the fish man into a tube. It's so fucking weird. <laughs> Tis Unchained gifted a sub. Thanks, Tiz. Appreciate it, man. Maybe Falco sub says, wow, this game sucks a lot. It does. Handsome Cat sub. Hey, Patterson McPatty. Can't believe it's been over four years now supporting you. Always glad to hear about weight loss and how you and Paige have been enjoying the West. Not the Wild West, but still, it's nice. Thank you. Queequeg kicked in 500 bits. Thanks, Queequeg. I find it fucking offensive. Oh! Queequeg did some research. I find it fucking offensive that he thought that it would be a good in memorandum to sensationalize his family member's suicide like this. Like I'm actively repulsed. Yeah, that's awful. That's terrible. Queequeg asks in the chat, did you see that thing about Elon Musk's dad knocking up his stepdaughter? Actually, Queequeg, let me actually correct you there. What you mean to say is, did you see that thing in the news about Elon Musk's dad knocking up his stepdaughter again? That's the second kid that they've had together. Rich people are weird. This makes Elon Musk's comments about how he's helping the underpopulation problem uh, have a little bit more clarity. Quabla kicked in 500 bits. This game was dog shit. Have some bits. Thanks, man. <laughs> you guys, you guys complain. Ah, oh, you don't play enough shitty games anymore. Well, here you go, you fucking bitches. 
Tito the Gaming God asks, what headphones are you using? I'm using the new Bose uh, Quiet Comforts. I think they're 45s. But they're the new ones. I like them. Akabane sub. Been watching for years before Pat stares at and still watching. Always love your talks about working retail from the podcast. Much love from Ontario. I hope you're doing well out there, buddy. Mel Brooks K kicked in five bucks. As I was going through Heathrow, I was thinking that the opening would just be a microwave hallway for you, Pat. He said, open up like five to ten cologne and perfume shots. It was, it was kind of insane. Wow, that would be absolutely agonizing. That, that would absolutely knock me on my fucking ass for like an entire day. No question. Chatterbox91. Oh, Wooly's not... Wait, what are you people talking about? Wooly wouldn't play this fucking trash. He doesn't dip his toe in a fucking bleeding edge fucking indie horror games. He never even finished fucking Resident Evil 2. Damn. Chatterbox sub. Thanks, Chatterbox. Chatterbox. Hey, man. I was thinking of Chatterbox the other day. Yeah, why is that? Uh, I remember, I just, I would just, I had like a flash of memory when, uh, when we met Chatterbox for the first time at a con. Yeah, I remember when I was playing Third Strike. No, wa no, no, was that no, wasn't the first was, time? We were, we were like slapping each other's asses or something and he saw us. And he was like, oh, I don't remember that he at all. Like, I remember him coming up to talk to me at the Third Strike cabinet, but I don't remember that. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think, yeah, Chatter saw us. We were slap fighting, yeah, apparently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's something really, like, <laughs> I don't know if it's wholesome or whatever. But like, people are like, you know, because the, the the worry is that your the 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 social media personality that you see is actually some kind of posh dickhead, yeah, right? Yeah. And that they're putting on the act for the 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 pores and whatnot. Well, and then, oh my god! Oh, uh, but then uh, we're at a convention, and then people are like, "Hey, is that Pat and Page?" And me and Page are like like screaming shit talk at each other and like trying to slap each other's nipples in the middle of a crowd. <laughs> and they're like, "Nah." Nah, they're fucked. No act here. Yeah, Chatter can, chatter can <laughs> attest. Thanks, babe. Good to see you. <laughs> and Shimmy Miggle kicked in the subs. There's no message here. Well, thanks anyway, Shimmy. I appreciate it. Oh. All right, that's everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. I'm kind of surprised and saddened that the longest stream I've done this week is the shittiest one. But that's how it goes sometimes. That's just how it go. I saw someone in the chat say I hated it. That's fine. You, you're still here, dumbass. Owned. You know what? Let's let's go give a good old follow. So not follow. What, what am I looking? What am I talking about? Let's go give a good old fucking raid. To our old pal Farfetched. Farfetched, tell her hi. Tell hi to Farfetched for me. Y'all be nice, but I'm gonna get the fuck out of here and eat some chicken. Paige, how's the chicken coming? Almost ready. Almost ready. Perfect fucking timing. All right, I'm out of here. See you, shithead.